Hola, mis amigos. This is Bob, W2CYK in the ERFinder lab. And today we're going to show you again another, um, another demo of the new ERFinder Android radio, fully controlled by, uh, by the ERFinder Android app. So yes, this is an Android HT for FM and DMR. And it's also a cell phone. You can see that we have 4G uh, uh, LTE connectivity on it right now. Uh, uh, right now, I've got a T-Mobile SIM card in it. We've tested it with AT&T SIM cards, as well as I was in Spain this past weekend and uh, visiting with uh, uh, my friends in Spain from URE, the uh, uh, radio society in Spain, at their national convention, Iber Radio in Avila, uh, España. And uh, we actually showed this radio uh, for the first time in public uh, at Iber Radio, and uh, people seem to like it an awful lot. So anyway, so um, FM, DMR, like I said, uh, fully programmable. We've added to our finder a control panel to uh, uh, control the uh, settings on the radio. And if this was set to FM, you'd be able to uh, adjust the squelch here with a slider. You see there's a volume slider, there's a swell squelch slider too. Um, uh, but of course, you don't use squelch on DMR. You use uh, call groups instead. So anyway, so uh, we have uh, um, the ability to manually pre program the radio uh, in real time on DMR, which doesn't really exist anywhere else that we know of, um, as well as being able to program a radio directly from our finder. So you see we have WA, uh, A2VNV here, which is a uh, DMR uh, HT, I'm sorry, a DMR repeater, and we have a variety of call groups. And, I'm going to hit this green button here that says send to device radio, and we come up with a list of call groups for that machine. So I'm going to um, choose TAC310, which is a common, um, you know, uh, uh, QSO um, uh, talk group on, uh, on DMR uh, on many machines around the world. So I've actually just changed the frequency, and if I was near the machine, I would be able to uh, start a QSO on that. Um, if we take a look at the Android DMR, Android radio, Screen, you can see that those parameters, in fact, have now for TAC 310 have now been put into uh, the radio itself. So uh, pretty exciting. This is the first time that uh, we've had a that we know of of a uh, ad hoc programmable DMR radio. Normally, you program it for home. If you take it away, it's a brick. So this radio is actually usable worldwide without pre-programming. No pro code plugs. No software. No uh, uh, no no cables. No laptop, nothing. Uh, just with our finder itself running on the device. So this is our very first um, uh, device. We'll have some more coming out uh, next year, and uh, some additional really crazy features that um, that I'm not uh, able to talk about yet. But um, you should be uh, pretty excited because if you get one of these babies now, it'll come down as a software update on Google Play. So that's about it. Thank you all very much. Uh, we'll be releasing this on September 30th, 2016, and it will be available on uh, www.androiddmr.com. Thanks a lot all for watching and listening. Uh, make sure you like our video and, uh, and uh, subscribe to us, and uh, this way you can get the latest and greatest on stuff that we're coming up with here in the uh, R-Finder lab. 73 is all. W2CYK.